Ladies and gentlemen, getting us started is one of our regulars, everybody. A guy that lights this place on fire every week. Uh, six months ago, he was living in his minivan, doing anything he could, every open mic to survive. Now, he's on jet rides around the world, opening arenas for Joe Rogan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hans Kim. This is Hans Kim. Hey, what's up, guys? I, uh, I think vegans are guilty of a crime way worse than the murder of animals, and that's the crime of annoying a human. Okay. What's the point of having the healthiest body in the world if your personality makes people want to strangle you in your sleep? Where's your quinoa now, bitch? If I could get vegans to shut the fuck up, I would eat two koala bears. Um, I don't think that you should ever buy a book on the power of positive thinking because you can always find one on the side of the road along with the rest of the family's belongings. <laughs> um, a lot of people hate borders, but without borders, maps would be impossible to read. Uh, we should live in a borderless world, then how are you going to find Colorado, you idiot? Thank you. Hans Kim, making it look easy. Joke, 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 joke. Vegans and borders. Yes. All right. <laughs> we'd, have, we'd have a hard segue in the middle of that. That's fucking 40 seconds on one topic, then quick shift. Yeah. <laughs> I like the darkness, yeah. It's, uh, I, I felt like it was all unified with the hatred of libs. <laughs> ah. Yes. I've never heard this is. borderless thing. Is that something that people are saying now? No more borders? No more borders, yeah. yeah Russell Brand was said it once, and <laughs> now that's a thing that I think people think. Uh, I, yeah. lo I love borders. <laughs> well, you're on the right side of it right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. That is a very good point, Hans. So what's been happening this week? Uh, I just did a little Fox Theater in Detroit, Michigan with oh, Joe Rogan. Oh, tiny little Fox Theater. <laughs> How was it? How big was it? How many people? 5,000 humans. Damn. How many Love shows? It. Two shows. Wow. Look at you. Thank you. Were you nervous? How nervous were you? I was pretty, uh, pretty nervous about an 8 or a 9, sometimes even a 10. I, I guess I was a 10. I smoked a lot of weed, drank a lot of Buffalo Trace. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> nice. You're just in it. You're in the you're in the spot now. Hans says uh, I was there. This is the first time that Hans has been on one of these Rogan trips without me, and I'm very proud of you. For, uh, <laughs> yeah. Did anything it happen? Together. Did anything happen that like fuck? Tony was supposed to save me right there. Yeah. Did anything weird happen? We're just like Hans. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> um, I uh, worked out with Joe Rogan and. Uh, <laughs> How'd you do? Did you keep up? <laughs> <laughs> what exactly did you do working out with Joe Rogan? I did a couple kettlebell swings. Uh, <laughs> I think the whole workout was Joe going, here, put this down for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I try to stay out of his way as much as possible. That in itself is its own workout, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I did a workout. I did a kettlebell workout. Joe was trying to get me into it, and I just destroyed my knees. I completely, I couldn't walk for like six months. And I was like, you told me to do that. They made me healthier. He goes, you did them wrong. I'm like, that's not the right answer. Right. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like, just do fucking steroids. Get better, bro. Yeah. <laughs> never try to keep up with working out with Joe Rogan and never try to keep up with Jameson with Burt Kreischer. That's true. That's a really good point. <laughs> uh, Hans, have you been any uh, in included in any debaucherous activities as of late? Just regular sex with my girlfriend. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> wow. You still wearing a condom with her? Yeah, pretty regularly. <laughs> but sometimes you don't what? is what it sounds like. No, I always do. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Uh, she's uh, afraid of getting pregnant and... She's just, like, really liberal. As long as the abortion laws stay really strong in <laughs> yeah. Texas, I don't think it'll be a problem. I feel yeah, like I know. That really forever. fucked me. Yeah. When you <laughs> say she's really liberal, how liberal are we talking? She's a vegan that doesn't even have a credit card. <laughs> Whoa. 
That's liberal that's, as fuck. That's all the way. That's the farthest left on the map. <laughs> if she uh, if she gets pregnant, why don't you just take her Roe v. Wading into the river and drown her? <laughs> nice. <laughs> row, 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 be wait. <laughs> uh, Hans, very interesting. Has there ever been a time where you thought about not using a condom with her? Where every came... time. Yeah, Whoa. every time. <laughs> every time, yeah. <laughs> so you put the condom on, and then you have sex with her, pretending like there's no condom there. You, ima- you don't see a condom. I can feel it, though. <laughs> Oh, shit. Do you put them on your finger when you're, like, blasting her? <laughs> no. Fingers don't have cum on them. Hans, let me ask you another question. Because uh, we've gotten to watch an incredible amount of progress, literally with your career in front of our very eyes over the past, you know, year or so since you've been part of the show. And I'm wondering, how are you spending some of this new unchartered Rogan money that you're making. <laughs> you know, doing these theaters and arenas. You're all of a sudden in one night, in what, fif- how long do you do? 15 minutes? Yeah. In 15 minutes, he makes more than he made the entire year before. Every <laughs> time. Wow. No exaggerations, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Again and again and again. So he's doing it again and again and again. Then he's doing two shows and then four shows in a weekend. So all of a sudden now, you have a little fucking, what, a nest egg or something like that. What are you doing with your money? Because you're wearing the T-shirt of the place you're performing <laughs> at right now. You're literally dressed like the guy that's mopping up puke in the back right now. There's no actual puke, relax, people. Uh, what are you doing with your money? I'm just saving it up like a Jew. Oh, look at that. Hari Shafir getting brownie points with Ari big that's time the way there. to do it. It's the way to do it. It's a long-term games. <laughs> I'm trying to invest in some Roth IRAs. Uh, Eli Roth. <laughs> <laughs> Roth. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, really? Nothing? No, you don't ever treat yourself to anything, Hans? I've been getting some Uber Eats for my girlfriend. <laughs> for your girlfriend? So yeah. you've been getting vegan shit. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, just like fried rice for her and then general sows for me. Um, I bought a gun and some ammo. Uh, oh, and there, and the, yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow. How much did that cost you? A thousand bucks. Damn. Yeah. Off the right, you shave off the serial number already? <laughs> no, I'm not black. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, he can say it, folks. It's Asian Heritage Month. So. <laughs> it is Asian Heritage Month. The month of May is Asian Heritage Month. I won't forget that one again. <laughs> Hey, how do you feel about Pacific Islanders taking half your month? I mean, there's like 17 of them. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Is it per mass now? There are so few compared to the actual uh, Asian people. Asian, yeah. Asian, Asian. Yeah, the real Asians, not those Indians. I think I almost got in trouble again there, folks. Uh, that was a close one. <laughs> Walking on the rope. Asian, 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 Asian. Oh, I'm short-circuiting. Uh, everything's good. Everything's good. I love everybody. <laughs> It always, it always was one of those things, one of the parts of the whole thing that blew my mind was like that that was the thing that I got in trouble for, like Asian. So unbelievable. Of all the races, like I would pick them to hate the most. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we're very... Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> got a little weird there again for a second. It's under full control. We've been doing this a long time. Uh, <laughs> Your inner monologue. <laughs> I love it. Hans, what else? Anything else? What are you going to do with this gun? Where do you keep it? Uh, under my bed. Uh, <laughs> wow. You just got a bed. Yeah. I mean, immediately, you're putting a gun underneath it. Yeah. Have you used it during sex at all? <laughs> no. She's, uh, she's liberal, so maybe, maybe she would love that or hate that. I don't know. Only one way. She'd probably hate that. <laughs> are you not liberal? I am a very liberal person. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, what? I wasn't, because you keep saying she's, I don't know where you are. Come over yeah. to my side. Well, let me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you this, Hans. What's the most liberal quality about you? Um, I, uh, I have a bidet. Um. <laughs> See, I would think that would land under conservative. <laughs> Interesting. What's the most conservative thing about you? 
Uh, I hate uh, <laughs> certain minorities. Whoa, okay. <laughs> wow. I can't believe he hates certain minorities. Uh, I can't oh. imagine. Look at the <laughs> scared look on some people's faces here. <laughs> that was a crazy answer. <laughs> What's your top three minorities that you hate? Wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> Here we are. Well, I was going to say, I was going to say, let's skip it until Michael hit the drum roll. I mean, you can't really. All right. Do you guys think we should find out and then edit it out if it's bad later? <laughs> we got to start at three, though. But you can't say what happened. You can't go on the internet and say what happened if, you fu if we edit it out. Deal? Deal. Or else we won't do it. All right. Here we are, Hans Kim's three least favorite <laughs> minority groups, everybody. This is an Asian man during Asian Heritage Month. We checked the rule book. It's allowed. His girlfriend is a vegan without a credit card. So for you liberals out there, you might be taking food, if that's what they call it, away from a vegan with no credit card by trying to cancel Hans, but he's uncancelable. These are his top three least favorite minority groups. Starting with number three. Sri Lankans. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Everybody feels like it's safe to laugh now. <laughs> we, were really, we were really concerned you might just drop the N-word right from the top <laughs> there. Right from the number three position. Sri Lanka's Every just happy to get recognized. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we are. Back to the show. The number two least favorite group of immigrants to Hans Kemp. Native Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Why? He, he set us up all nice, guys. <laughs> Sri Lankan, not going to be that big of a deal. Small island. Now you go straight to the native people of our very own land. Um, <laughs> both. Why? Both. There what is, is uh, it about the Native Americans that you don't like? They're poor and dirty. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Oh my god. Chaos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and believe it or not, there's one to go, everybody. <laughs> Believe it or not, right when you think the gift cannot possibly give anymore, we find out that the number one least favorite minority group, according to Hans Kim, is... The Blacks. <laughs> Congratulations, Hans. you guys. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> John Dees threw a water bottle at him. He's up on the stool. <laughs> An incredible standoff is May versus February. <laughs> oh, I activated the backlights. That's a big deal. Asians get the longer, mm. Asians get the longer month, and blacks get the longer dicks. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Hans, we spent way too much time with you during this interview here today. Or did but God we? God damn it, it was so worth it. Or did we? Because if you know, if we have to edit that out. You know, oh right, yeah, yeah. super short interview. Yeah, yeah. With Hans. Where, where were you already? I wish there was more. We're gonna have to do a little trim, trim to the brim, brim. I would have actually liked to have heard his top three least favorite races, but oh well. <laughs> I guess we will never know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Hans Kim. Thank you. That was Hans Kim. That was Hans Kim. That was Hans Kim. That was Hans Kim. All right. To the bucket we go. This is where anything can happen. Is that Maybe you signed up 